Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we're going to go over a rather interesting announcement from Wargaming that, in my opinion, says a lot about CV balance, especially in the competitive game modes. So if you didn't know, a little while ago, Wargaming announced that there was going to be this special tournament where you could potentially win $30,000 and be sponsored by Verizon. So they released more details about this tournament today. And, well, some of the restrictions are quite interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and read straight off the article from the game's website. You can find that link in the description down below. So, Verizon's Warrior Championship, get ready for battle. We've joined forces with Verizon to invite players from all realms to participate in a special tournament with a grand prize pool of $30,000 in the Verizon Branches Challenge. An exhibition tournament featuring four teams of U.S. Army, Navy, Marines, and Air Force veterans competing to support their charity of choice. Qualifications Key Rules Participate in our special clan battle season. Place among the, the top four teams on your server and we will invite you to participate in the tournament and have a shot at the grand prize pool of $30,000. And there is a lovely little graphic right here that explains how it goes. And again, qualifications run from, run from the 27th through the 29th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so one full weekend. And it's going to be 9v9 playing Tier 8 ships. Restrictions, up to two battleships per team, up to five cruisers per team, up to four destroyers per team, and no aircraft carriers. Award, 10,000 of blooms for each clan for the top 25 clans, 5,000 dubs per clan for 26th through 100th, and an invitation to, to the Verizon Warriors Championship for the top four clans of each region. Okay, so it goes on a little bit further to explain some, a little bit more of the minutia, like the time and stuff, but that's the stuff that really stood out to me, is that they aren't allowing CVs in this match where well in this tournament where there's actual money involved and what I'm assuming there's probably gonna be a lot more people watching this since this is an actual like a lot of money being given out here to the winners of this tournament and I mean like why are CVs being forced upon competitive gameplay since season 9 they've been involved in every single round of competitive play in the game, all the clan battles modes and the ranked seasons. But when you have this tournament, this which is a pretty big tournament, they aren't allowed. Now COTS is done by the community, it's understandable why the community wouldn't allow CVs in, in COTS, because most of the community agrees that CVs are not balanced enough for competitive gameplay, especially when you have teams that are smaller than 12v12. So it just seems strange that Wargaming isn't allowing CVs in this uber special tournament, even though it's at tier not uh, tier eight and it's nine v nine. I mean, like I've said before, CVs are fine for the most part in random battles, in my opinion. I'm not hating on CVs. I'm not hating on CV players, but when you take that and put it into a seven v seven, or in this case, a nine v nine game mode, the balance is not there. In 12v12 random battles, there's a lot more AA to worry about. Um, you don't know, you know, who's going to be on your team. You don't know what's going to be on the enemy team. Um, <clears throat> there's nowhere near as much coordination in random battles as there are in competitive battles. But again, when you take, you know, half of the team away almost with the 7v7, that's a lot less AA. A lot more communication going on between, you know, all the players around. So it's the utility that the CV brings to that table is of through the roof. And that's why in the current clan battle season, they're trying to curb a little bit of that utility with the the, uh, the Cyclones randomly. So, they're, you know, it's obvious that they're still not happy with the balance of CVs in clan battles. And they're not confident enough with the balance of CVs to put them in this uber special tournament. So then why is every other competitive player being forced to slog it through CVs in clan battles. If, if you want to test CVs in clan battles, run it on the test server so you can really test it and don't force people to, to just smack their head against the wall trying to counter them in competitive play, especially when things like the FDR exist. And again, in random battles, 90% of the CVs in my opinion are perfectly fine. There's some issues with lower tier, but that's more of a matchmaking issue because you can get, you know, uh, two, three CVs on, on a side sometimes in lower tier, even, even though you're not supposed to. At, you know, mid to higher tier, the issues aren't as present, but they're still there. 
but again, they're not as present in a 12v12 game mode. When you cut that in half to 77, the issues become much more present. But again, the only CVs that I really have a problem with in random battles right now is the FDR and the MVR. The MVR, because it can remove 26,000 damage from you in one run, and it's citadel damage. You cannot repair that. The FDR, because, I mean, the planes are basically a, a flying tier 10 cruiser. AA doesn't seem to affect them too much in random battles, unless you're literally stacked on top of each other, and the CV player flies through flak. And, of course, its bombers can do 20, what, 24, 5 in HE damage alone, and then probably set two, per, two fires on you per run, if not more. Um, <clears throat> but, again, that's beside the point. It just really, I mean, again, it says a lot when in this uber special tournament, they aren't allowed in. Be it that a lot of people are going to be watching this and it will become pretty apparent in a 9v9 competitive game mode at tier 8 that CVs are not balanced or Wargaming is just like the rest of us and knows that they're not balanced for competitive play. They're really not. And again, this goes back to the issue I brought up last time I talked about this. The way the CV mechanics work right now, you cannot balance them for a competitive game mode unless you literally change the way they work. You would have to have different loadout for a competitive game mode, be it less planes, be it a slower um, respawn rate on the planes, be it the planes do less damage or less spotting or something. And I don't envy Wargaming for having to try and, ba and balance this because it's a tough job. It really is. CVs from the get-go, from their very inception, have been designed for a 12v12 game mode and not a 9v9 or a 7v7. It's just how they work. I mean, in the, um, in the, what was it, the 3v3 clan brawls or the 4v4, whatever it was, I think it was, yeah, I think it was 4v4. Uh, God, I mean, that was, that was pain trying to play against CVs in that. I mean, literally trying to play against CVs with a third or a fourth of what you were supposed to have originally. That's pretty darn painful. And, of course, we could go on and talk about how the power gap that was supposed to be closed by the CV re rework hasn't been closed. It's less prevalent, but it is still there. Very skilled CV players can dumpster on just about anybody, and there's not a lot you can do about it. The lack of counterplay, you know, you can launch your fighter, which, according to half the comments, the last time I mentioned the fighter, is meant to be a deterrent. But what's the point of a deterrent? If when the CV planes fly right through it, it does nothing, even when you launch it at the right time. Um, you can set your priority sector, and you can pop DFAA, and you can try and maneuver. And you can still do all those right things and still eat the full amount of damage if the CV player is good enough. Which, there is certainly an argument there that if the CV player is good enough and it can counter all of that, then he should be re rewarded with damage. Sure. But, looking at every other class in the game, you can aim right, I could aim perfectly right, on a broadside ship with, um, uh, let's just say, Shikishima. But if RNG says no, or the player is being aware and maneuvers, he's going to take less damage. That's not really possible with higher skill CV players in these competitive game modes. And again, I'm talking about competitive here. End game, the end game for a lot of players that spend hundreds of dollars on this game and thousands of hours on this game. That's frustrating when you do what you know is right to counter something and you still are punished almost in full for it. That's infuriating and a lot of players are getting burned out on this. Players that have played this game, that religiously play this game, that support this game, they're getting burned out on this and it's not fun to play against, especially in a competitive setting. So, yeah, this to me is just Wargaming saying what we all know, that they aren't happy with the balance of CVs and competitive game modes, and, again, why are we being forced to, to bash our head against the wall if they are not ready to be put out on the forefront lot like this? If they are not good enough, if the balance isn't good enough, to where they can compete in this competition where there's some serious prizes involved, and a lot of people are probably going to be watching then why are we being forced to just slug it out with them in current competitive modes? Again, I'm not dumpstering on CVs. I'm not dumpstering on CV players. It's just like with all the HE spammy ships. I'm not aggravated that the person is playing the Smolensk. I'm aggravated that the Smolensk is in the game in the first place. Just like the Thunderer. 
good portion of you guys should know. I don't like the Thunderer. I think it's it's a little bit too powerful. But I'm not mad at the person playing the Thunderer. I'm annoyed that the Thunderer was allowed to get in the game in the state that it currently is. So that's what I'm saying. It just seems that too much that when I say something about CVs not being balanced or my opinions on CVs, people immediately assume that I'm talking crap about CV players. I am not. Okay? Okay. Have fun in the comment section. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm sure it'll be a lovely place in this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like. We are on our way to 20,000 subscribers. We are getting very close to that goal. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.